In this section, we're going to talk about chord estates. The state will be the first component of our token chord app that we're going to build. Privacy is perhaps the most important requirement for a business blockchain. And yet, traditional blockchain architectures share every fact with every participant in the network. There's no privacy beyond the use of pseudonymous public keys. In Corda, on the other hand, you only share information on a need-to-know basis. So here we have a diagram where each of the big grey circles represents a party on the network. In our case, we have a network of five parties called Alice, Bob, Carl, Demi, and Ed. And the small coloured circles represent on-ledger facts known by each party. We can see that fact one, for example, is only known by Alice and Bob. So it might represent a trade between the two of them. And in the same way, uh, only Bob and Carl know facts five and six. Only Demi and Ed know fact eight and so on. Other parties on the network are not even aware of these facts existing. However, Corda does maintain the blockchain guarantee that for each fact shared between two or more parties, those parties all see the exact same version of that fact. So there's no need for each party to maintain its own systems of record and engage in costly reconciliation processes, as you would have with traditional database architectures. In Corda, we call these shared uh, facts states. So how is this information represented in code? Well, parties on the network are represented by the party class and shared facts or states are represented by the contract state class. And we'll take a look at those in the next section.